It's time to react. What's going on, YouTube? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Brad Steele channel. Still reactions. Yatta ka is where it's happening. Thank you guys for joining me on the Bradical bandwagon today for another reaction video. And today, I'm checking out a new cover from Diana and Kudanova. This is Can't Help Falling in Love. And this was just uploaded to YouTube about five, uh, six days ago. So this is pretty new. I'm going to be checking it out for the first time today. She's got as unique a voice as any that I've heard in a long time. So I can't wait to hear what she does with this all-time classic. But before I get to this, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel. Over 115,000 of you now. And the silver play button is there to prove it. Thank you guys. If you're not subscribed and you enjoy my channel, we should take one second to click the red button and subscribe. Some of my covers and original music will be available for you to click on at the end of the video. I have my new original song kingdom of me comes out this tuesday october 5th at eight o'clock eastern seven central and it is a song that i've been waiting for you to hear for two years i cannot wait for you to hear that song i wish you would tune in for the premiere eight o'clock eastern seven central this upcoming tuesday night october 5th but for right now i am checking out diana and kudanova can help falling in love and this is brand brand new just uploaded to youtube you can see the intensity on her face can't wait to hear what she does with this. Without further ado, hitting play right now. Is she laying on the ground? Wow. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. Only fools rush so this is not exactly what you would expect from a cover just right off the bat. It's like, oh, okay. Uh, now it's creepy. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. It's that low range. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Listen to that. It's like. Oh my. Look at that. Just stop and look at that. Oh my gosh. Gosh, that's incredible looking. What about this arrangement? I mean, literally, you think about this song. It's like one of the greatest love songs of all time. We've heard so many renditions of it. And it's amazing how you can completely change the idea of the song by kind of darkening it up like this, making it minor. And now, all of a sudden, it's gone from being this romantic thing that you sing to your lover. And now it's like, oh my gosh, like somebody's being creepy with this song. You know what I'm saying? Oh my, that's how I feel. Oh, look at the wind. That guy. That's me. That guy's me. I don't know how these people are staying seated for this. This is insanity. This is insanity right now. I'm freaking out over here. Oh my gosh. This sounds either sounds like somebody's really desperate to get that person's attention or like... This is like from the perspective of like 
some crazy stalker person who just won't leave. You know, I'm not saying that about her, obviously, but I'm saying this arrangement, it sounds like maybe some TV show where the main character is like creeping on some person and won't leave him alone and is like stalking them. It's like, you don't understand. I can't help it. You know, like that's what it comes across as now. This is like giving me chills. Yep. Wow. Unbelievable. Goodness gracious. Bravo. Bravo indeed, man. Are you kidding me? Gosh. That was not what I was expecting at all. I mean, I know that like she tends to do very different type arrangements, but like when I when I turned this on, I, I just didn't know. Like, I've never heard anybody do a rendition of this song like that. And then here she comes in here, and she's just like just putting it out there, you know, like this really dark, sinister sounding arrangement of this otherwise. You know, normally very happy sounding romantic song. It's like, oh my gosh, she means business. Like she can't help it. You know, I love that arrangement. I love, you know, it's always risky when someone puts their own twist on one of the classics because a lot of times people don't want those classics messed with. But I thought that she, that was just, it was so different that it felt like just a different song. It felt like a completely different song. I loved what she did with it. I loved the stage, the lighting, the graphics were unbelievable right there. And I I mean, I just thought that her voice, it just, oh, it just captured it so well. You just had to lean in to kind of feel, kind of sense where it was gonna go next and the look on her face was so intense. She's already got such a unique voice anyway, but then you put in such a unique arrangement. It's just like, oh my word, can't even believe this. What an incredible, incredible performance by Diana Ankudinova. Wow, she tore that up. Thank you guys for joining me on the Bradical Bandwagon today for another reaction video. Don't forget, you can help me get uh, continue to climb the YouTube ladder. You already made that silver play button happen, 115K. If you want to help me uh, continue to go to the next level, this red subscribe button is there. Covers and original music. Some of that should be on your screen right now. Thank you, guys. Take it in. Soak it up. <gasps> Bye, everybody. Let it go. Gotta let it go.